What it do, what it do, what it do. It's your favorite, the one and only extra love coming through to see what's popping with you. What up, my Leos? What up, my popsicles? Because you cold with it, right, my baby? Woo, 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 woo. So these um, readings, my family, it's about your divine sovereignty, building a legacy. I was told to share with you the true meaning of Valentine. The phrase you're supposed to meditate on is Valentine, as in you just crossed the veil in the nick of time. And it's all about the lessons that we're learning. It's about building a legacy. How we came in or came upon our path as 22s, as master builders. That's who we are and that's who we'll forever be. Our ancestry, our lineage. We got out here and got it in. Clearing up our lives in all aspects, which is the 44 master healer. Heal and be healed or get dragged. So we got that message. So now I'm told that our number is 66. As in, you know, it's all adding up. You're on your ding, right, my baby? So with your message, I'm going to give you a key phrase and a message. The energy that's available to you. Your rank as far as ascension for our family. You, you know, where you started at and where you ended up. And your blind, blind spot or key obstacle. But the whole point of these messages is to help you drop the final illusion or illusions to fully and completely step into your power as a divine, multidimensional being, right? So the message for you is the okie doke, right, my baby? And I keep hearing, take that, take that, right? Like somebody keep fucking with you. And I hear, still reserve, question mark, still deserve, exclamation point. So um, a phrase for you is, in stillness you receive, um, you receive patience, your true manifestation, powers, and um, you're also working for the highest good of all, two with the four of the highest being. And for one of our family members, well, several, uh, really everyone, <laughs> why did I say that? Um, something good is coming to you. Something good is coming to you. I just hear it's coming, right? And I also keep hearing the names Daniel and Sarah is going to be significant. And basically how you had low self-esteem, low self-worth, and how you picked yourself up, all the fragments of you, and you resurrected. You got your sexy back, my baby. Basically, that's, that's what I got for you so far. So just, just get your, um, oh, wait a minute. Let's get your energy. Right now, baby. Get your energy. Yeah. How you doing, my popsicles? Yeah. Wow, it's three. Oh, yeah. Um, I see you're healing your heart. Right, my baby? And I see some family members, they have a faulty compass. Like you've been hurt so many times. You don't know which way is up, my baby, right? You're definitely healing from a toxic relationship and some family members for addiction. So you've basically been bulldozing yourself. And I was told to um, relay that message to you. You know, when you're grieving and you're coming out of heartbreak, you can't speed up the process. You know what I'm saying? You have to acknowledge all your feelings are valid. And nine times out of the ten, the most healing thing forevermore that I want you to know 
um, my popsicles and our family as a whole, because I know most of our family watch all the videos, is all you really do need, all you need to do is just cry, my baby. Let them emotions come up that's making you feel heavy and burdened. And just let them go. Let them come up and transmute them. I'm back into love and just feel them emotions. You know emotions are fleeting. You know, just because you're feeling that emotion doesn't mean it defines you. But that's what makes you strong. Because once you feel those emotions and process it, definitely process it. Crying is going to be so cathartic for you, so liberating. You know what I'm saying? After all of this, you don't think you need to heal your heart, my baby? It was, you know, something about deception, very painful. It was shocking. Somebody that you love stabbed you in the back. Stabbed you in the back. Yeah, you're definitely, you know, not dealing with it. You're deflecting. But I uh, was told it's only because you have a faulty compass. You definitely have to tap in and talk to the Most High. Right? But you're bulldozing. You're just trying to run past your heathen, even though it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, somebody was a habitual line stepper. They was crossing boundaries. I see you're still feeling some type of way about this shit. But the swayest part, I'm feeling like the person that stabbed you in the back, they had the nerve to have attitude. Yeah, somebody that you're dating, you know, I'm getting like you just, you know, kind of spent them off, looked like you were working, you were, you were in your ascension. And while you were going through your dark night of the soul, somebody did you greasy all because you were like, you know, uh, I'm into me today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody you had passion with. Definitely someone you were involved with. Definitely had chemistry with them. Yeah, you like each other equally. Yeah, let's see what the ancestors say. Peter, well, this is going to be quick. No more than like 20 minutes, 25. Just, you know, I didn't want y'all to think I was, um, yeah. If someone you have to pull out, they broke your heart. Something about it at home. Yeah. You're healing your heart after a breakup. Healing your heart after a breakup. Prince of Swords. Wow, my baby. Yeah, somebody feel guilty about stabbing you in the back. Not showing you love. Not pouring into your cup. Not to that. Woo. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't want to hear the bullshit. You said you ain't carrying no burdens. Trick no good. Tell me, that's what you said. Not today, honey, boo-boo. I'm not dealing with this. All right. Trick no good. <laughs> right. Wow. Can I have a color card? Ooh. Wow. Dang. It's two. Yeah, y'all got a lot to say, my baby. Oh. Yeah, the truth is, it was about your successes. You was out here getting it. You was out here definitely in a spiritual battle. And you defeated this person. Spiritually. And see, you're successful in your new spiritual endeavor, too. Right, my baby? Definitely successful. Yeah. This was somebody that fucked with everybody like that. Yeah, sharp tongue. Uh, they could be very cold and hurtful. I see that hurt my baby. Yeah. yeah, it definitely happened while you, man, on your sacred journey. Yeah, dark night of the soul, you're on your path, my baby. And this per person interrupted your healing. 
They didn't want to, they chose not to ascend with you. That's why you were told to go on on your own. Yeah, this person had a voodoo doll of you, my baby. This person had a... This person put a voodoo doll on you. Because you wouldn't have... We wouldn't show no love. You wouldn't have sex with them. They had a voodoo doll. They use black pens and the voodoo doll. All because you were having fun without them. Yeah, because you didn't have fun with them in a minute. This is somebody's husband. This is all they wanted to do. <laughs> Notice the phallic region. Because you didn't have sex with them, they plotted, they gave you all these burdens while you were on your path. They felt like you were neglecting them. Because you kept saying, not today, wait till tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Give me a minute. You know what I'm saying? They know you were healing. That's the root of the problem. Yeah. And you told him in the, you told him some truth. You told him in the future he was gonna cut them off and move on. If they kept on blocking you when you were in your imagination station. Yeah, I see you were praying, you were lighting incense, and you were just about to relax. And somebody just came out of nowhere. You saw this way before it happened. Five weeks at least before it happened. Spirit lets you know that your passion, your passion is linked to your satisfaction. And I see you're definitely going with the flow of love, creativity, and like I said, wealth of information available to all. Definitely satisfied. It is what it is. You're comfortable where you at, you're comfortable what you're doing. So it is what it is. I feel you, my baby. I feel you. Now this person's scared you're gonna go date somebody else and that's why you cut them off. And I feel like you're being very defensive to them at this time. But you see it as they don't have courage enough. That's what you were told. If they don't have courage enough to come tell you the truth, they don't deserve you. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, child of the most high, at least the grandchild. Happy, happy, joy, joy. This you, my baby. Yeah, you are on your path to heal yourself and to become abundant in your life. And somebody was just doing you greasy, my baby. But now you have a chance to change your destiny. You have a chance to sit on top of the wheel. Yes, they had a voodoo doll of you at, at home. And the body of it is this color, like the color of this house. Like what a, it's like, has a black face with like a red outfit. They didn't even bother to look like little doll clothes. That shit is crazy. It's somewhere at your house. Somewhere at your house, my baby. 
Yeah, your highest self saw this and told you to abandon this, sacrifice this. If it, does, it does not make you feel like the beautiful being that you are. Yeah. Little birdie tells you, huh, my baby? Wow. In this world, you're a child of the divine again. You're going to be happy. You're going to have satisfaction and gratification because you've been... You've been to the mountaintop. You talk to the Most High. You know what it, what is up because you know what to do because you know what to do. Right, my baby? Yes. You see somebody had an evil plan. You saw the plan they were using. They thought that messing with you would spark the relationship. Like if they nitpick with you, you know, that's their way of like love talk. Yeah, but I see you felt like the spark was gone for a minute. The spark was gone for a minute. You saw this was your divine counterpart. But like I said, they chose not to ascend at this time. You're the empress in this world. And you're the like I said, you're the child of the most high. This is crazy. This I heard is no dating on the union. That's why you were told to cut this off. Wow. Divine feminine is out here. Divine feminine. This is who you are, my baby. How beautiful you are. Royal. You ought to have a miracle pop off too. Look at you, my baby. Ever since you were a child, you were promised a good life, my baby. As long as you get rid of things that you don't need, you're fine. You know you're a child of the most high. And you know the most high is going to cut off anything that tries to feed off of you and anything tries to sever your connection to them. And like I said, man, I couldn't make this shit. Uh, somebody judged, for somebody judging you, uh, they basically judged you into poverty. You get to get a wish of whatever you want. But you know it's a miracle coming. It's a miracle coming for you. See that rainbow? Yeah, I told you about that, right, my baby? As long as you abandon anything that does not make you feel like a beautiful being, my baby. Smooth like that. Okay. My popsicles. I see y'all cold. By the way. Yeah, somebody went back into the crib and got their knife. <laughs> yeah. Cause you ain't somebody pulled a knife on a family member. Because you didn't feel like having sex. Relations. A few times for me. Oh, that's too many. Out of all of these, this is the same one that popped out. Was this Gemini? Yeah, I think Gemini. Got the same card. Somebody throwing away their divine heritage, their divine gifts by refusing to ascend. Yeah, somebody's powers were taken away because someone was supposed to go on this journey with you and they chose not to. Because they didn't show you, they only showed you love half of the time. 
if that was love. This is a, a behavior your divine counterpart learned when they was young. Playing with their life. Playing with their divine counterpart and their connection to the most high. That's synchronicity, my baby. They were playing lots. That's why the spark was taken away almost immediately. As soon as this person came up with the plan to sever your connection to the divine realm, you know, basically half their life force was taken away. Yeah, they were on a journey. This was a wish that this person wished for. They wished for you. And because they cut you off, they cut off the love to you, the divine realm cut off part of their spirit. And so that, that's why they have that's why they have a reptile dysfunction, broke wombs and broke wings out here. Because they basically shit it on their divine counterpart. Yeah, ain't no nice way of putting it because it is what it is. Right, my baby? Why my pop symbols? You know, we keep it real about whatever. That's why we sh we out here winning, my baby. You know, you were supposed to have a son with this, with this person, this being. Yeah, you had an abortion. They made you cut off your connection. I still keep feeling that either some family members had an abortion or they cut off um, your relationship with your child so they can have victory with you, not your children. Yeah, but now they're sitting on, uh, they're, they're in quarantine and the divine realm has cut off their connection to them because they pass judgment. They have to heal. Wow, this is coming through. At the end of the day, only the divine the most high, your highest self, can turn people off and turn people on. This person was trying to act like God too. They were trying to cut off your connection to God. How is somebody going to cut off your connection to the divine realm? Wouldn't the divine realm cut off their connection? And that's what's happening. That's why there's a lot of broke wombs and wings out here. Yep, until this person is balanced and treats you as the badass being that you are, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be cut off. Their connection is cut off. Their spiritual gifts, talents, and abilities. They're a freaking nine of pentacles, man. Wow. And this is somebody's divine counterpart. This is the title card, the divine masculine card. To me, it looks like because you had a small success out here and whatever you're doing, is, you're doing is spiritually based. You know, it's a lot of readers, a lot of squires. You can truly, truly forecast and see the future. And you've been doing it since you was a young kid. See, this person, the reason why is for some family members, um, uh, you were having difficulties because they knew they couldn't bullshit the bullshitter. They know you weren't going to go for the okie doke. You weren't going to go down with the mind games. They weren't going to be able to manipulate you sexually. 
So they just cut off their emotions towards you. So that's why universe, you know what I'm saying? Okay, this is how this shit fall off. Put it on my baby. See, these are no new cars. That's why there's a lot of broke wounds and wings out here. A person cut off their connection to you, they cut off their connection. So that's why it's not looking like this anymore. Masculine or feminine. Whatever somebody does to you, it's done back to them. Yeah, while you're on your path, right, my baby? Anybody do something to you while you're on doing what you're supposed to do, for a regular person, they get it back double. Anybody messing with the world that's on their path and doing what they're supposed to do, they get it back times three. Anyone messing with somebody to step in their sovereignty and in their power and they're still getting harassed and harangued, people get it back times six. So shit, do the math. So now you know what to expect, right, my baby? Yeah, somebody running around like they was God, like at home, tried to kill your connection. You know what I'm saying? Divine realms, towers, to all that shit. Boom. Somebody's mom is out here not playing, man. Yeah, divine feminine. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, somebody tried to have you trapped all in your mind, my baby. Trapped all in your mind. Trick no good. It was revealed that they're a thief of joy, right? A thief of joy. Remember we said that. And they were trying to make you be joyless too, penniless, give you that lack mentality. And you already know. <laughs> you already know who you are, my baby. <laughs> Ever since you was a kid, you know who you are. I see you've been seeing orbs, your divine realm, your cosmic and galactic family for a long time. Since you was 13 at least. 4 to 13 years old, right, my baby? <laughs> Dig you. You know you're in a divine union where you successfully merge your masculine and feminine energies. You know who your father is and you know who your grandfather is. That's the relationship you love. You're relishing your relationship with the Most High. You know you're a grandchild of the Most High. It's always going to be sunny days for you. You take every day. You don't always see situations as good or bad you just see it as a learning experience that's what makes you beautiful and unique and that's why whatever you wish is going to pop out and that's why you're protecting on all four sides my baby all four sides still reserve still deserve you have weathered the storm mentally in this spiritual battle you ain't snap crackle and pop you could have fucked a lot of people up but you didn't you remained balanced walking that middle path so since you went through all those like i said the spiritual warfare now you get everything you deserve still reserve you still deserve because you know it's still that you receive and that's why you got these ace of pentacles where health and wealth is being released in your life, my baby. Yeah. And now somebody's sad and regretful because they didn't show you love and they severed your relationship with your kids and all you did was love on them. This is crazy. Just wrap it up. Let me give you your fortune for the next two or four days. What's popping off? It's centered around moving on. Moving on. Any messages, final words? Cosmic and Galactic Family. Somebody played a lot of games and talked to you reckless and you really loved them. You really loved them. You brought joy in their life. And like I said, all they did was have you singing the blues, jumping through hoops. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of cards. They were like very angry, you know, hateful, 
to you, a loving being. You know what I'm saying? And truthfully, the whole time, all you wanted to do was love on them and make love to them because the divine realm told you this was your divine counterpart, right? But all they did was bulldoze you. They never, you know, healed themselves and they definitely wasn't allowing you to heal yourself. Any final word of wisdom? I guess we're going to have to take these revelations. We're wrapping it up. The okie doke. Take that, take that. All right. At the end of the day, it was revealed. This person did some grimy um, shit to you. Did you real greasy? Very underhanded. It's... A lot you still don't know to the story. They were trying to steal your joy because they knew you were divine. And at the end of the day, you was told to cut off death, abandon, sacrifice. Anything that make you feel like a beautiful being or thing. Because this fox was also a rat. And you were faithful. And them, not so much. So you're told to cut it off and go toward your future being a royal, getting all the fruits of your labor. You're going to have your flowers as you walk on this earth. The okie doke. Yes. I see you learned a lot. Right, my baby? We all have. Your highest self told you it's going to ensure. Yeshua is going to make sure you eat out here. You're going to have everything you want. And somebody going to send you flowers and a loving card and all of that. Real soon. This is the end of a cycle. End of a cycle of being all in your mind. Because it was revealed. Somebody was too controlling. And you had to snap, crack on, pop. Because you got downloads from the most high that somebody was playing with your life. And now you're free. You know what I'm saying? You know why the cage bird sings. You got the key to free yourself. And, oops. Don't see you in there. You look like you're free. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Make sure you tap in and go high red pops. You know what I'm saying? Go holler at the big fish out here. Get rid of all that dead weight. Because that's what they tried to do to you. You're the empress. So move on, my baby. And move away from people that you love on. And bring you cloudy days. And fix your faulty compass, my baby. And go true north. Because you know how to elude the rats. I keep telling you, this motherfucker was dirty. They did you faulty, salty in your face and behind your back. But they weren't slick. You saw it was fake love. Because you know who love on you. How, how about that? You know about the passion of the Christ. How about that? You know, in true passion, no one feeds off the other person. There's not no codependency. Everybody carry their own cart. Don't add nobody's shit to your cart. And don't put your shit in nobody else's cart. We stand on our own two feet. Yeah, this person just can't find it in their heart to keep it real with you, talk to you, or whatever. And at the end of the day, this is what you were told. Sell on again, my baby. I can't make this shit up. It's like your third sale. Selling on, motherfucking car. They left you a long time ago. Emotionally. And now it's time for you to move on and do what you want to do. 
Because at the end of the day, you was with a snake, my baby. How the fuck you end up with a snake? And you're a palm reader. Thought this was your soulmate, huh, my baby? But it was revealed. Even though you're trying to play it cool, because remember I told you, your compass is faulty. Feel those emotions, feel those feelings. It's okay. You're never separated, my baby. You know who you married to. Right. At the end of the day, shit is what it is. And you got to get it out here and you got to play ball with these motherfuckers. You don't jump through hoops for nobody. Look at this long road you had to crawl to get at the top. For a motherfucker that don't even realize how a gangster you are, my baby. Poor. Resurrected. The okie doke, my baby. I gave you the keys. I love you. You know what I'm saying? You sacrifice anything that plays with your health and wealth. Because if something plays with your health and wealth, it is the okie doke. Tower to that shit. Death times three times three. I love you, my Leos, my popsicles, because you're cool with it. You know what I'm saying? Continue to delight in you. Continue to go after your success. You got the keys of life. And look who popped up behind that. Syrian star. You know he gonna always tell us the tea. He telling us today about your spiritual transformation. And the mysteries that you were initiated to. You got some truth about spirit, my baby. You know, like I said, you know who the Most High is. And the Most High knows who you are too. Bye, my popsicles. See you in a few days.